Will Simpson here and welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a challenge video out in the field where we put an iPhone 13 against a Canon R5 with a 50 millimeter 1.8 $135 lens. So we're gonna challenge these two. Uh, there is going to be an amateur photographer using the phone and a professional photographer, me, me, using <laughs> my camera. We have a couple of rules that we are going to go over to try and make it a little bit more fair for the amateur photographer, but we're going to show you like if you were to go out with your friend with an iPhone, why shooting with a camera is going to give you that little extra over the phone. So let's get into the video. Here are the rules. Number one, you can only use two photos for the challenge. Number two, only basic color edits allowed. That means no masking, retouching, or Photoshop. And number three, have fun and get creative. Now, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button because the manager gives us cookies with every new subscriber. And now, let's get into the carnage and meet our contestants. All right, welcome to the first location. We're gonna start it off a little bit simple with a shaded tree. It's kind of an interesting spot. Uh, we're gonna have the iPhone user go first so she can't steal ideas from me. Heh. Oh, and to introduce our, our lovely team today, we have Mindy, who is going to be the amateur photographer using the iPhone 13. We have Ada, who is our model. She doesn't have that much experience modeling, which is why it kind of evens the playing. Actually, it doesn't really even the playing field. It helps me because I know. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> so I will link them below so you can go follow them. How we'll do this is um, the winner, well, winner, relative winner will be picked by Ada. She'll pick her favorite photo. And then we'll also look for you guys to comment below your favorite photo. And we'll put numbers on each of the photos so you can comment below yeah. and let us know which one's your favorite. And obviously it's gonna be mine because no, mine. you're following me, not her. This is my YouTube channel, I mean, not her. You'll so. be following me and that's. <laughs> she doesn't have a YouTube channel. Y yes, I do. I, I, I would Scott, say it, but I think it's on a different channel. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Hair, you think? But like, like, more like touching. Should I put my hair but on no, the side so you can I don't know yet. I don't know yet. <sighs> you got any left? Oh. <laughs> I don't like this. No, it's happening. Oh, oh, wow. It's gonna be. Yeah, it's gonna be like this. Hear him? Can you hear him? He's actually using my stuff. Your hand. I feel like I should copyright this. Your poses are actually amazing. So Thank you. yeah, you did good. <laughs> I know. Though. But uh, yeah, so on the upside down photo, it's not good. Okay, so lift your head a little bit. <laughs> but I don't actually want to see it. No, but you have to do bad photos to find good photos because if you don't you try, try, if you don't try, you never know. And that is a big thing you in posing. You never know. You never know. You never know. Like, like what you really did there out. was really good and awkward, but I was doing it with an iPhone. No, no, I just shot from a better location and mine's better. Anyways, moving on, let's go. He has a professional camera. Good, and then, exactly, this leg up, this leg down, perfect. You're gonna take this leg, you're gonna point it like that, you're gonna take this leg, this is what I was telling you to do earlier. The rule with posing is if you can ever point your toes, always point your toes, okay? Good, good, and you're gonna turn open to me a little bit, good, and then you're going to Drop that hand. Let's actually bring the left hand over here. What, the photo? No, it's just hot. That looks spectacular, Ada. Yeah, ex there. Ex <laughs> wow. Winning. <laughs> I want to see the other ones you got. Cheater. I need Cheater. Wait Cheater. I will be, in fact, editing that out delete, of the part of the, of the photo. The big chode. That is a very key point on photos, is look at your surroundings. Look at the photo, pose it, and look around the photo and see if you need to remove anything, because taking it out in post is always a more pain in the ass than it is just fixing it in, in picture. All right, so we just wrapped up with this location. I am de-hitchhikering myself. Who do you think won this one? Um, well, since I went first and you stole almost all of my spot. You've seen the photos, so you know that's not true. <laughs> okay, on to the next. All right, location number two, the classic bridge, the classic creek. Anything goes, let's get into it. Mindy, you're first. I'm ready. Okay. 
All right, so we're going all the way down. Fine. You set Can bins you or not? sit ups, but please don't I'm gonna send that you in the corner. You're done. He needs a minute. If you do. And like lean into like. Mm, don't don't help me. Uh, I don't want to, I want therapy. And then one, it's, it's, a little more. Open your mouth. A little more. Honestly, I feel like definitely there's value in the professional. I think I'm doing pretty good. Do I think I'm gonna win? I think there's gonna be one winning shot out of all the, the places that we go. One, one winning shot. He's probably gonna beat me on everything else, but I'm gonna have one, just one. Okay, so with this location, I'm gonna do something completely different. I'm not gonna do any standard photos or anything. I'm actually just going to be using objects and things to accentuate her uh, and using the natural light and shadows to create interesting photos. So let's, hopefully I win this round, but I doubt it. <laughs> That's exactly what I did just a minute ago, so. Did she? Yeah. Okay, That's good, it. onward. Good, so we're gonna come over here first. Turn the camera on. That's always good. Uh, eyes to me. Love it. So we're gonna move on and try something different. Okay. So look up at me, lean. <laughs> Let your hands kind of like. Hello. Okay, done I'm done. Okay. Got my photos. Moving on to the last, last, no, mm -hmm. moving on to the third location. All right, so for the fourth and final location, we're gonna use this spot, which you can clearly see is terrible. Just, just terrible. The bright light. For professionals. <laughs> yeah, okay. And so, know what to do with fun. <laughs> yeah, because fun. you know those, those iPhones have that HDR, baby. Yeah. Anyways, so uh, you can shoot anywhere in this location, but it has to be in the sun. And uh, yeah, so she's gonna go first. Let's get started. Can I just stand like this? Mm -hmm. It's fine. You, you could do it here, like right here, and then just oh, just kind of walk. walk. Yeah, do the walk. Okay, but wait. Okay, I'm all done. We're done. Okay, here we go. My turn. Good. Chin down just a shade. Good. Perfect. Eyebrows up a little. Yeah. Perfect. Sorry. Good. And you're going to tilt your head that way. Nope. There you go. Good. Exactly. What is that word? Ethereal look kind of style? Eth yeah. Yeah. Ethereal? Ethereal. ethereal. So you start with the pose, do this, then this. Okay, I'm done. Where'd Mindy go? She's hiding. I win. We just wrapped up. We actually only did three locations because they took a little bit longer than expected and we only wanted a couple photos of each location. So we did those. We're gonna go back into the studio now. We're going to edit them and then Ada is going to pick her favorites for the winners. But remember, you guys were seeing the photos as we were going through this video. So remember to comment your favorites from each and we'll tally them all up and we'll let you know who the public, what is that, what is it called? The, um, I, I know what you're doing in the background. It's always fan favorite. Oh, okay. We'll let you know what the fan favorite is and Ada's pick. So there's gonna be two winners. Now, obviously both of them gonna be me despite Mindy back there pointing for you to vote for her. Anyways, pick your favorite. We'll see you in the studio. Oh, did you see the new Avatar Of course. Movie? Oh this my God. Very good. I that new Avatar. Avatar. Welcome back to the studio, everybody. At this point, we have gone through our photos. Mindy and I picked our favorite two of each location. We did the color edit. Remember, no Photoshopping, no masking, no retouching, nothing. Simple color edits with the programs that we had available. I personally used Lightroom. She used the- Lightroom. You used Lightroom also? I did. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Okay, good. All I'm right. On the phone now. That's okay. Only on no, the phone. it's really good. Actually, Lightroom Mobile is it's good. very, very good. I did it. So, first time user, uh, lifetime subscriber. Mm, definitely. <laughs> Anyways, uh, there. I will make a note that 
this was completely unfair. But overall, for what we were using, all the photos as a whole came out really, really good. I ran a poll on Instagram and in my photography Facebook group, and we definitely have clear favorites. You, you got close on one of them. Did I? Yeah, I mean like 30% to 70%. I, just, I said at the end, I said I think I have one really good yeah. shot. But none of them won on Facebook. Hi. No. And I'll be I'll be putting these up right now so you can see the polls. So if you want to participate in additional polls, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. You also keep up with all of the projects that we are going to be going over. So now we are going to have Ada, our lovely model. She is going to pick her favorites. Okay, good. All right, here we go. Booyah. The first location, which was the tree. Okay, um, I'm gonna pick B for this one because I like, this one seems so smooth. So she did use Lightroom Mobile, so just so you know, there is a clarity slider on there. Yeah, okay. And so for these Should photos- I done that. Yeah. <laughs> Lightroom, but right. yeah, no, you're I mean, good. that's part of it, yeah. right? I didn't know what the features were. That's okay, it, it turned so, out good. But no, yeah, yeah, it's a good picture, yeah. like I, I like the picture. Moving on to numero dos. I'm gonna pick B. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because again, it just looks so like smooth and natural and I feel like it really complements my facial features a lot. So this one, I'm actually gonna show an honorable mention because I was going to submit this photo, okay. but I didn't want to steal your photo because remember I took the same mm -hmm. photo as 2A. Yeah, which I wanted to see because I, I felt like it, you could, what it do was you, a great post. What do you think I added to change this photo? The foreground? Exactly, okay. see? It's, it's a learn. I'm a quick learner. You're a quick learner, look at this. I enhanced the photo by adding that foreground and also not only adding a foreground, but a leading line. You notice the tree starts in the left and it follows. So your eye follows the tree around straight to your subject, straight to her. Mm -hmm. So that is kind of um, a point of golden ratio. All right, so now we're gonna go on to photo number three. This is location number two. This is the bridge slash the creek. Uh, so these got a little creative. Uh, as you saw in the video before, I wanted to do something a little different. Oh, please, this is very obvious which one is better. <laughs> not, to be, not to be mean or you know throw punches, but. Um, and there's a reason. There's an actual reason here, and we'll explain it once she finally decides to pick mine. But I mean, I mean, you're so. <laughs> you need. You're so not fair. <laughs> I'm gonna pick A. This one. No. A. The one with A. Just kidding. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I'm gonna pick that one. Mm -hmm. So, okay, here's here's my perspective of this. I don't personally like the top photo either. The shadows weren't working with what I wanted. There was they were too spaced out, so there was too much harsh light, and with only a color edit, and not being able to really clean up the skin, and not necessarily clean up the skin, but smooth it out, and adjust, and dodge and burn the way I wanted to. I actually had to make it black and white, because it was <laughs> crappy color. Like, I, I was like, I can't, I can't do this one. But I had to do something unique, so that's what I came up with. The reason this one, actually, I think would have won, had you positioned a different angle. Yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. So what? <laughs> this is my least favorite set of the of Yeah, the me set. too. Yeah, I agree. So moving on to number four, still the second location, the bridge and the creek. Here we go. These both turned out That's phenomenal, what I'm gonna say, the yeah, they're both really good. The only reason I would pick or I will pick B <laughs> is because the like the texture and like the smoothest. Like if you had that in this picture, I'd yeah. probably pick that picture. Yeah. But overall they're both great photos. I'll give you a, I'll give you that one. Okay, good, number five. Third location, harsh light, the hardest of them all. So I'm gonna pick A. Yeah. Yeah, I would too. Yeah. Well, it was, I just look of, really, like, them. kind of look like, Every you single know, one in that location for me was, this one, was crappy. Yeah. This one, you probably raised the clarity oh, slider. Dude. This oh, is a rough dude. spot, but the key mm -hmm. here is to find shade and to, you can do two different kinds of styles here. You can do full sun, the model fully in the sun, and then adjust for that, or you can have her away from the sun and use the rim light, which is what we see on A here, and, and actually on B as well, where the sun is hitting her hair, but yeah. her face is in the shadow. So that's the only real way to do it. Oh, it did create one of my favorite photos of the entire shoot. Oh. And this is number six, the final photos. I love yeah. the photo I took there. I, I think- That was one of my favorites. That is a really flattering picture. Okay, good, so that is the final photo. So. Do I won? Sure. You know what? Min Mindy's the winner. Woo, Mindy. <laughs> no. No. Okay. So make sure you comment below on what your favorite ones are for the competition. You can describe any of the photos on the honorable mentions if you want. But um, that's it. So the moral of the story, the camera is always going to take better photos than the iPhone. Uh, you okay. see you see people take really good photos with their iPhone, but they, unfortunately they are extremely edited and there are times with really good lighting you can get photos with the iPhone or the phones.
but overall a camera will always do better because it has a bigger sensor it has more tech to it yeah there so, are definite limits with the iphone i can definitely say too it's not just about the iphone versus the camera mm -hmm. in my opinion I think that having the knowledge that you have as a professional and knowing the foreground and the ideas behind yeah. the background and not, oh, don't use too much texture behind it. Like, right. You just, you think it's gonna look good because to the naked eye, it looks really good. Yeah. And you're like, this is gonna be so good. And then you look at it and it looks really good and then you compare it to a professional and you're like, why? Oh. <laughs> well, it was good. Yeah. yeah. It was really good until you did it. Thanks right. a lot, you know? And that's why when you did take some pictures of the shots that I was doing, I was like, I want to see what that looks like mm. because I'm I'm certain there's something I'm missing here because I, I am an amateur. So. Right. But it's the little things and it just comes with practice. So if you see photos and you're like, why can't I take these photos? That person probably has more experience and has adopted and learned these little things and tweaks that make a big difference. But that wraps up this video, so go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button, uh, comment your favorite. I'll link these two in the description so you can go check them out. Uh, if you have any questions, you know where the comment section is. And otherwise, I'll see you guys next week.